With just these three plugins, you can build a powerful, high converting e-commerce store without coding, without hassle, and without spending a fortune. WooCommerce takes care of your products and payments. Elementor gives you a drag and drop functionality to design the best shop page. And ShopLenter adds extra features you need to optimize your store. This combination is all you need to create a fully functional professional online store. Let's set it up step by step. To start setting up your e-commerce website, we first need a solid foundation in WordPress. A well-optimized theme ensures your store runs smoothly and loads quickly. For this, open your WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance, and select Themes. Since we are working with Elementor, Astra is a great choice. It's lightweight, fast, and designed for seamless compatibility. This gives a clean, optimized base to build on, ensuring that the store remains fast and user-friendly. You can choose some other theme as well, depending on your business needs. Next, we need to install WooCommerce, the core engine of the store. WooCommerce handles everything from product listing to checkout functionality, making it essential for any WordPress e-commerce site. Since it's built by Automatic, the creators of WordPress, it integrates seamlessly and better than any other e-commerce plugin. Head to the plugin section, click Add New, and search for WooCommerce. Install and activate it, and as soon as it's active, WooCommerce will launch a setup wizard. Here, fill in essential details like store name, location, and product type. WooCommerce might suggest some extra plugins for SEO and payments, enable only what's necessary and skip the rest. Once setup is complete, you'll see a new dashboard section for products, orders, and store settings, giving you full control over your shop. With WooCommerce ready, it's time to add products. A well-structured product catalog makes shopping easier for customers. Navigate to the Products tab in the dashboard, then click Add New. Enter the product name, write a short description, and set a featured image. If the product has multiple images, add them to the gallery, assign a category to keep things organized, set the price, and sale price if applicable, and add a detailed product description to help customers make informed decisions. Once done, click Publish. Repeat this process for each product and for key items you want to highlight. Mark them as featured so they stand out on the home page. Now that the products have been added, let's create a professional looking header and footer to improve site navigation and branding. For this, go to the templates, open the theme builder, and start with the header. Click Add New, select a pre-built template, and update the site logo, navigation menu, and any extra icons or buttons you need. Once styled to match the brand, click Publish, and set it to apply across the entire site. Now do the same for the footer. Import a template, update contact details, social links, and store policies, then save and apply it globally. This ensures consistency and professionalism across all pages. If you wish to learn how to create a good header in depth, check out this video. Now that the backend is sorted, let's take care of the front, which is the shop page or the home page. The first impression of your store. A well-structured home page guides visitors to key products and promotions, improving conversions. Go to Pages and select Edit with Elementor. Instead of building from scratch, import a pre-designed template that's already optimized for mobile responsiveness. Replace the placeholder text with actual content, swap stock images with the product images, and update links to direct users to the right pages. If there's a countdown timer for a sale, set the correct date. The featured product section will automatically pull in the items we marked earlier. Once everything looks polished, click Update. Now we have a clean, high converting home page with a custom header and footer. Now let's build a shop page where customers will browse all available products. To make this process easier, you can get all of this with just one plugin, ShopLenter. It simplifies customizations and gives you full control over your shop's layout and functionality. A plugin that enhances WooCommerce default design. Once activated, create a new shop page, open it in Elementor, and insert a shop page template. Adjust the layout to control the number of products per row, enable built-in filters for price and categories, and fine-tune the styling to match the site's branding. When everything is in place, save the template and assign it as the main shop page in ShopLenter settings. 
With the shop page set up, the next step is designing a clean and user-friendly single product page. When a customer clicks on a product, we need to make sure that the product has all key elements. Title, description, price, high quality images, and an add to cart button and related products for easy browsing. Since we're using Elementor, there's no need to worry about coding. We'll get all of this with simple drag and drop customization, making it easy to create a polished, high converting product page. This is where customers make purchase decisions, so a well-structured layout is crucial. Create a new page and follow the same process. Import a single product page template and adjust design. Typically, product images appear on the left, while the title, price, description, and add to cart buttons are on the right. Below that, related products are displayed automatically to encourage additional purchases. Remove any unnecessary elements, add any extra details if needed, and once the layout is finalized, save it as template and assign it as a default product page. A professional store also needs a dedicated contact page to build trust and provide support options. Open the Pages section, create a page, and import a contact form template. Update the business details, customize icons or colors if necessary, and save the page. Since new pages don't automatically appear in the menu, go to the Appearance, navigate to Menus, add the contact page, position it correctly in the navigation bar, and save. Now customers can easily find your contact details. Next, let's refine the checkout experience by customizing the cart and checkout pages. A smooth checkout experience reduces cart abandonment rate and improves conversions. For this, you can add upsell and cross-sell at the checkout page and offer additional discounts to hook customers. We've already made a detailed video on this. Click here if you would like to learn more. Or you can also install a free plugin to send abandoned cart reminders. So if a customer adds a product to a cart and exits without purchasing, they get a reminder email to continue with their purchase. You can also check out this video to learn how to set it up. Now let's make sure the cart and checkout pages match the rest of the site. WooCommerce default layout might not align with your design, so we'll fix that. Create a new page, insert the cart widget, and adjust the typography, button style, and overall layout to keep it consistent with your brand. Save the design, then go to WooCommerce settings, assign this as the new cart page, and save. The checkout page follows the same process. Create a new page, add the checkout widget, customize its styling, and assign it as a checkout page in WooCommerce settings. Now both the cart and checkout pages look cohesive with the rest of the site, ensuring a smooth and branded shopping experience. The store is now fully functional with a custom home page, shop page, product layouts, and a smooth checkout. The final step is testing, browse, add items, complete a test purchase to ensure everything runs perfectly. And that's it. Your WooCommerce store with Elementor is ready to launch and start selling. If you have any questions, do let me in the comments down below and I'll help you out. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.